Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about and show you how to get the new update on your phone and how to make it looking amazing. Yeah, so first, I've already done mine, so we will show you what mine looks like. Autumnal theme, and so nice. I am going to be changing it every season to look like, so next season I'll make it look all cute and wintry and have like Christmassy yeah. stuff on it and then, you know, like change it every season. Um, but today we're going to show you how to do it using Leah's phone because her phone is currently the exact same as it was before yeah. the update. <laughs> so this is currently what Leah's phone looks like. She just has all of her apps, just a standard picture. She does have the app library which is new, oh, which is I where all of her apps oh, are. Okay. <laughs> um, she only downloaded it yesterday and um, yeah. So the first thing that we have to do before you do anything, you've got to sort out what apps you want on your front page, like on your actual home screen, because you can you can do this thing now where you hold down an app. So let's do music, edit home screen, and then you click the minus button and you click move to app library. So it doesn't actually delete the app completely. It just moves it to your app library. That's cool. So you can still get it. So first, we're going to sort out Leah's phone. So the very first thing that you have to do is pick a background. So we're going to go on to Pinterest and what kind of background do you want? Like a neutral one? Okay. Neutral aesthetic <laughs> background. Yeah. Wallpaper or is it? Okay. What kind of a kind of a vibe do you want? That's quite nice. Yeah, that is nice. Do you I try like that? that one? Yeah. Okay, so screenshot it and then crop it so you get the little black lines out. Done. And then you go obviously you go onto your photos and you set it as your wallpaper. Okay, so we're gonna set it as her home screen. Ooh, it looks good already. So now we're going to make the widgets. <laughs> These sound so strange. So you've got to download this app called Widgetsmith. So you go on the App Store and you type in Widgetsmith and this is the one that you've got to download. So once you've downloaded that, you go on Open and then you can pick Small, Medium or Large. So we'll do a small one first. Yeah. And you can do the date. So what, what font do you want? Um, what do you have? Uh, quite I quite like have this one. one. Yeah. 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 One. So we like New York. Tint colour, so white. White. And then background colour. So like neutral. So I'll scroll. I'll scroll. I can't even speak. I'll yeah. scroll through them all. Are there any colours? Yeah, they don't have that many. What about that one? Yeah. That. Up to you. I use those three. Those three? Yeah. Okay. So then, do you want a border? Mm, okay, white one. Cool. So then you save it, and then you've got to hold something down. <laughs> hold something down, edit home screen, and then you click the little plus at the top, and then you scroll all the way down to Widget Smith, and then you click add widget and then it will come up with this one first like a default one yeah so you've got to click on that and then you change it to the one that you've just made so for us it's small one and then it looks like that that's nice yeah it's cute so yeah. you can add as many widgets as you like um we're gonna add should we add a to-do list one we'll show you yeah. how to do a to-do list so for to do a to-do list you've got to go onto your reminders on your phone Oh. Upgrade okay. later. Yeah. So you go onto a to-do list on your phone and then you create a list. So you do add list and we're gonna call it to-do list. To do <laughs> list. Okay. And then we'll go on to that. Okay. 
So then when you go on to, so then you go onto your widgets again, widget smith, you click on the next widget, you add another one, and then we've already got this. So you scroll down, you go on style and you scroll down and you go to where it says reminders. You click on that and then you go on lists and you click on the list that you just made called to-do list. So then you can edit the colours. Um, New York. New York. New York, New York. Do you want it white? Yeah. And then, which one? I just went for the cream, so now maybe I'll do the pale pink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you click that, you go back, save, and then you add it to your home screen. So you edit home screen, add it, scroll all the way down, add widget. And again, the default one comes up, so then you change it. She could ever fail at this. Ooh, cute. So then you can, you can move everything around once yeah. you're finished. So there you go. And then I'll show you how you add pictures as well. So Leah wants to have some cute quotes. And then we'll show you how you change the apps. And then we'll show you the like final finished result Look, yeah. once we've completely done it all. So to do pictures, so we'll get a quote first. We're going to Pinterest. Crop it <laughs> to size. And then you go onto Widget Smith again. <laughs> you click on the next one, click on it. And then, <laughs> and then you scroll down to where it says photo. So you click on photo select photo, choose photo, and then you click on the most recent one. And then you go on to save, and then huh. add it to the page again. Edit home screen, add widget. Go all the way down. All the way down. To widget smith, add widget smith. And there you go. That's cute. So you can move it wherever you like. So for now, we'll just keep this page. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, if you want to add medium ones, obviously you can do that as well. So we'll add a medium medium one to show you. So you screenshot it. So cut it into kind of the like shape that you want it. So then once you've cut it in the shape you want it, you go into widget smith, medium one. And then you click on it again, and then you scroll down to photos. That's cute. Yeah, so save. And then you add it to your home screen. So you go to medium, mm -hmm. add widget. Oh, I like that. So it looks cute. That's my favourite so far. Yeah, it looks super cute. Like, I found a quote online and I didn't really like how it was done. So, we're going to add our own quote as well. So, if you wanted to add your own, you go on to add, add medium widget. I quite like this. You want one of these? Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that on this page. Okay. I'll show you. Um, so, you go on to custom text. That's cool. So, should we do New York again? Yeah. Tint colour, white, background colour, so you can pick your own background. So, we, what one are we in it? Do the white one in it? Grey? And do grey? One of the pink, pearl pink. Pearl pink, I think. Yeah. Or not. Try, I think. That one. Ooh, that one, cream. Or okay. that one. Yeah, grey, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So then you. Pick your outline and then save. And then you add it to your home screen. You haven't wrote anything in it yet. You'll see. You'll see. Huh. Scroll to medium. Go to change it to number two. And then you can, once you've edited the home screen. Okay, backtrack. 
So you've got to add your text here. My favourite quote, mirrors are just glass. I knew it was going to be that one. Really? Mirrors are just glass. And you are more than that. And you got that tattooed on are me more too. than that. Okay, so we've got that. So then you save it, you add it to your home screen. So we have it here. Yeah, yeah. that was nice. If you want to add a picture of yourself or like of a couple or whatever, so you... I want a picture of me and you. Okay, so we'll add that. So you do it just the same. So you're gonna, we're going to do make another small widget and we'll add it and then we will show you it. Okay, so we have just edited Leah's home screen, added all the widgets we want. So we will just do a little run through of it now. So, so cute. this is the first screen. Ooh. So this is the first screen. This is the second screen. And this is the third screen. I love it. So now we're going to show you how you actually edit the icons of the different, what do you even call them, of the different pages. No. Like FaceTime, phone Yeah, so of icons. the different apps. How yeah. you edit the icons of the different, different apps. apps. So you go on to, so first you've got to pick pictures. So first we're going to pick some pictures on Pinterest that are cute. And then we will show you how to do it. So we're going to show you how to change the icons. So for the bottom four icons, we're just going to change the color of them. And then we're going to add pictures to the other ones. So you go on to shortcuts, you go on to add, add action, scripting, open app, choose. So we're going to do Instagram first. So you click Instagram, then you click the three little dots on the right hand side, change the name to Instagram, then add to home screen. And then this is where you can add a picture. So if you wanted to add a picture, you'd click on the little green icon here and click choose photo. But for this one, we're just going to change the colour. So you click on the little green thing at the side and oh. what colour? So we can change what the icon is. So let's try and look for one that looks like Instagram. Okay, so we're going to pick the little person symbol. So then it changes it to a person and then go back on it. We're going to change the colour. So which colour should we change it to? Are they the only colours you can choose? Yeah, sadly. Maybe that one. You think? Um, or that one. Maybe even orange would go. Let's try orange. Okay, so you click done. Add to home screen. Change the name to what you want. So you want the capital. Yeah? Yeah. Instagram. Add. And then it appears on the home screen. Oh yeah. So then you hold it down. First we'll put it on this side here. So where it says Instagram, you've got to click this, move to app library, and then you move this down. So Leah doesn't like the look of the orange, so we're going to change the colour of it. And then we'll get back to you. It's looking amazing, I'm so happy. Yeah, so we've changed, so we've changed the four bottom icons to like this grey brown sort of colour but now we're going to show you how to change the other icons to photos so let's start with camera roll so we'll go into shortcuts again and then you click add add action scripting and then what was it camera camera roll yeah and then you click on the three dots change it to camera this, it doesn't matter what you do with it, because when you click add to home screen, you're going to click this little thing here, choose photo, and then we'll pick a photo. So we'll pick this one first, I'm guessing. Yeah. Zoom it in so that it fits. Choose. And then it becomes the little icon. Change it to, what was it? Camera. <laughs> I have such a bad memory. Add, so then it's added to the home screen. So then we're going to edit it and then move it across. So we're going to delete this one first. And then we're going to move this across. There. And it looks super cute. So I'll show you one more time and then we will show you the finished results. Yeah. So you go on to shortcuts. Add. 
add, add action, scripting, open app, um, FaceTime, the three little dots, FaceTime, add to home screen and then you click on this button, choose photo, which one? That one. Yeah, that one's cool. That'd be us in a few years, hopefully. Definitely. In a few years even. And then you change it to next year. FaceTime. Yeah, definitely next year. Add. So then it's added to the home screen. So then we delete FaceTime. Add to library. So it doesn't completely get rid of it. Yeah. It just moves it to the app library. Hmm. Edit home screen. And then you just move it across. Very slowly. <laughs> There you go. And then with this page, we haven't edited it yet, but you can actually hide pages as well. So you can do it so that you can't actually see it, but we can also edit this page, which we'll yeah. do at a later time because there are so many apps in there that it's gonna take forever to change. Uh -huh. So we're just gonna show you the basics of how to do this first. So we're gonna go and edit all of these icons. Sit smaller. Yes, and then we're gonna show you the final results. And then we can show you my phone as yeah. well. So I have finally finished editing Leah's phone. She hasn't actually seen the no. finished, finished result yet. So we're going to show you together and Leah together now. So this is the first page. I love that. This is I the second that. page. Got all I the cute love icons. it. It's so cute. Thank you. I actually it's really okay. love it. And then this oh, is I the last page. I actually better than I imagined. Doesn't it? It looks really I good. Love it. it looks so cute. <gasps> Thank you. You're I welcome. I love it. So now we'll show you mine. Mine, as I said, it I'm going to well. change it every, um, every, every I'm so season. so happy with mine. Yay. I like yours. I kind of want yours now. No, yours is beautiful. So this is mine, the first page. Yeah. So mine is it's all so like beautiful. very autumn themed. It's very Caitlin. <laughs> yeah, it'll be cute, hopefully. Like each each season, I'll yeah. enjoy redoing it. And then Leah's is all like neutral and pretty. It. So thank you so much for watching. We really hope it's helped you. Yeah, we really hope that you have been able to do your own home screens whilst watching this video. And we would absolutely love to see them. So if you could post them on your Instagram story or send us a DM and tag us in it so that we can see all of your home screens. Give us some more inspiration. Yeah. We'll probably change it quite up. Well, you will be. Yeah, well, I'll change it every season. Yeah. Um, but we'd love to see what you guys have done. Um, we've had quite a few requests to do this video, so we really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe to us because it would be very, very kind of you. And please give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Comment down or a below. thumbs down if you really no, want to. No. <laughs> Comment below and yeah, thanks for watching. Stay cozy. Stay cozy. Bye.